intense match where everybody's been like, you know, the nature of timeouts. Talking, okay, so anyone who says versus, anyone who says uh, that the here. nature of a timeout is inherently boring is wrong, because yeah. it can be super hype. It can. It just depends. Right now. Oh, it super depends. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, we don't have to see that here. Uh, I know that Web is very big on approaching. Nah. And putting on big damage and also mousetrap as well was doing so good at quick tech canceling staying in uh the zone of uh while also being in a very uncouple position <gasps> oh the the thunder <gasps> jump actually you, you would have thought that it saved that was such a good uh, like just a, a great non-committal option throw out those thunder jumps force yeah. web to go so deep and then all right so web actually giving up stage position here and being forced into a very similar spot as last time i need yeah. to know how the active the spike box on down there is on, the way that lucas would have bonked his head on battlefield the second pk thunder that he would have thrown out would have actually collided with the stage and caused him to fall to his death so in a way mouse was like oh wait did i just save him with the thunder jolt i'm gonna go fix that real quick yeah just finish the play into four there as well mouse rat is mouse Mousetrap is just riding on momentum of running through this bracket right now. It's one of the things that you always got the uh, on your side when you're in uh, mm -hmm. locals. But now on Wi-Fi too, having a little bit longer uh, to wait for some of these sets. Web has to wait a little bit longer. So let's see if Web can start to turn it up and so, shut this down. So I just want to point out that that spike box on Pikachu's down air is only active for two frames. So like him doing that runoff, that consistently too. him doing that runoff down there on Wi-Fi and getting it, bruh. My man is not. He is no longer in the sauce. He is part of the sauce, and he just be shooting sauce out low. He's saucing everybody, bro. And uh, I, I say that just as my man's. I cannot hype him up. You know what? You you know full well that the power of the mic is a terrible thing, and if you, if you compliment somebody for too long, they eventually will die. <laughs> what a death! What a way to go! My man suddenly got lost in the sauce. Oh, I'm so done. He you just know, like, it full, it can't pull circle no, properly. His people needed him. I feel like Webb is the type of player who like dress who adapts so well that he has really weak starts. Um, but as like the match progresses, as the set progresses. He gets such a good read on his opponent's movement and how they want to be approaching to the point that you can't land a hit on Webb. I agree with that because we're seeing it transpire in front of us right now. Webb yeah. has barely been, I don't think he's been touched in a while now. And also going to take advantage of the fact that Mouse Rat gave up that stock. It was down two stocks mm -hmm. before, so there was zero reason uh, to have to approach at all. And, and that's exactly what Mouse Rat is doing now. Yeah, I really like that. That is that way a Webb box that pulled fire? Mouse Rat off the stage there? Oh, uh, no, it's, it, I believe it was just like a wave bounce PK fighter that he did. And then he used like the magnet to continue his drift outwards. Yeah, well, like Mouse Rat just got pulled off stage in a very oh, odd yeah, way. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's Lucas's win box. Yeah, oh, okay, I, all right. I just want to make sure that I wasn't seeing things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lucas does win. Okay, so a little fun fact about Lucas's win box on his magnet. He has the only win box um, that I believe in the game that actually scales based on percent. So the higher the percent of uh, the opponent, the more they will fly and zoom based on uh, the win box. I definitely want to see how that gets utilized. I'm really liking the way that Webb's just continuing to optimize this character after just a couple days that I've seen. And it already, really, again, you have so much time to work with. There's no reason to constantly go in. And it's starting to bring this back in pretty much near kill throw percent range as well. Yeah, um, you know, a good PK fighter as well, like a nice following forward, just about anything can kill Pikachu. Um, but that's going to be the residual explosion hit that will hit Mouse Rat. And right now, like, you see Mouse Rat, he's playing this really, really patiently, he's just waiting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mouse Rat has been very good at resetting neutral whenever things have gotten out of hand the last couple sets. Uh, actually, not going to get the fall out there, and that's going to lead to a confirm off that down air. It, that was such a good option out of shield. Yeah, like knowing that he has more than enough time to get it, it's the only option that would be able to hit a grounded low profiling Pikachu after dash attack. No rising aerial out of shield would have been able to do it except down in. That was just thrilling. I'm just gonna avoid. I, I like the idea of going for that down air right there. Of course, Mouse Rat to wait a little bit longer. And now Mouse Rat taking so much damage to try to get off the ledge. Look at, like, across these couple stocks, Webb is just now about to approach 100%. 
and Webb actually committing to the magnet after the up throw because he was uh, thinking that Mousecut was gonna go for the uh, the down B, like you know the up throw into down B, um, and so he used the hitbox of the magnet after realizing that wasn't the commitment just to anti him. That was like. Dude, it just seems like Mouse Guy can't seem to punish the magnet. Yeah, well, I mean, Mouse Guy had the right idea right there, too, waiting for the side cancel. Or excuse me, just the side magnet to try and go for a follow up. But uh, now, now we're getting to a point where Webb actually has to play a little bit more respectful near ledge, especially because one of these dash attacks might end up taking up stock. Look at the way he's spacing himself just under every single Pikachu's hitbox. Like, his positioning is immaculate. He's not getting hit by anything. His keep away play and his movement is genuinely impeccable. Yeah, Mouse Rat also starting to do uh, start to do a little bit better at mitigating some of his damage. We're at 145 to 109. Kill throw percent on the favor of Lucas. Well, but Pikachu getting closer and closer to being able to send far enough off stage. Like, go for one of those down airs. Or back here, the forward air, uh, excuse me, the dash attack yeah. on the, the side B is going to end up taking it out. Mm -hmm. Mouse Rat, he waited or the right time to strike. First of all, the fact that he had a two-stock lead and almost choked that. Anyhow, that was really, really, that was really, really good because he waited for the what, like tiny, tiny window of before the PK fire is active and that time that Pikachu kind of shortens his hurtbox a little bit as he is dash attacking. Um, just to be able to sort of weasel himself under it. Like yeah, just holding that position, it. trying to find that one gap where Webb threw out uh, a perfectly position, uh, a perfectly positioned PK fire that could un un like just low profile, like you said. Um, and it was actually UB UBL called it just before it happened. Uh, just staring down Webb the whole time. This is such a great second stock too, catching the last bit at 62%. Here yeah. comes my favorite part. And you can see right Ooh. at this point, I had I had played up Mouse Rat just well enough. <laughs> oh yeah, <That's> cursing right. <laughs> him, <laughs> and then gets lost in the sauce. Bro, my but man. This was, this was <laughs> Mouse Rat trying to secure his two stock lead. Imagine what it's gonna be now that like Web has a really. Good, I feel like it was just like a little bit too late for him to be able to make that comeback, mm -hmm. right? But now at this point, you know. Yeah, and running back to Battlefield, I, now you also, like, like you were just pointing out, Webb was able to bring that back while being down two stocks and getting blitzed early. Now you have a full fresh three stocks. It, let's see what kind of difference Webb makes going into this game. Mm -hmm. He's making the most out of his double jump cancels there, He's making the most out of his retreating forwarders in such a way that it would effectively stuff out any mm -hmm. Thunder Jolt approaches. And so you see Mouse Rat not being like really allowed to commit to those. Yeah, regularly putting out those retreating hitboxes is just so good. You want to slow down those quick attacks. You want to also slow down the Thunder Jolt attempts. And it's it's work it's working somewhat, but both players really not committing too hard to anything. Good use Actually, of the PK boost to cover uh, Mouse Rat potentially trying to edge guard him. Yeah, I like that. That was a really good reverse edge guard. That's a uh, it's a little risky every once in a while. Uh, it's risky if you do it too much, but that's a really yeah. good option to hold in your pocket every once in a while. And and like much like Nexus PK Flash, PK Freeze has a deceptively low amount of end lag on it. Um, and so to mm -hmm. a certain degree, you do have to respect that move. Um, and you can only really punish it if you know it's coming. Or you just just throw it out there. But <laughs> like no, you said, you can't. He's baiting Mouse Rat, right? He's exactly. Out yeah, you got a defensive option. Yeah, I was just about to point it out. It's like you throw it out there just to kind of get them to come in because like you just said, there's not really a whole lot of lag uh, on that. So you could get somebody to come in at that point. Mouse Rat looking for a possible uh, ledge trap here. Not going to get the jump read though. Yep. Getting the parry punish with the grounded spike back here. Not able to convert off of it though. Mouse Rat, I feel like when Mouse Rat really wants a dash attack, he just starts kind of standing in place. He just like, yeah. just kind of starts waiting. And I feel like well, JP has started to really, really catch on to that. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I also saw one adjustment from Mouse Rat just a second ago, as you pointed that out. There was a Thunder Jolt instead that time, trying to find a way in. Because it's just waiting, I think, is kind of making Web have to respect a little bit more, not to throw out those size, uh, to try and get that free Thunder Jolt. Uh huh. Really nice fade back from his double jump, making sure he's not going to get it gimped by the Thunder Jolt and be put into an unsavory angle. He's not able to get the reverse grab out of shield. Uh, that was a slight misinput on his end. Here we go, covering the spot dodge, but good DI right to the corner there. Battlefield coming in through a little bit too. What Plenty of time to go for that. Angle. Luckily for Pikachu, not as strong in the Pikachu Thunder 2, so still going to be able to stay alive. Both players, again, up throw might do it. There it is. 
Just about to point out both players that killed Thorpe Percent. Now at the ledge, uh, yeah, Mouse Rat has to worry about it. Center stage, not as much for about another 20, 30%. I mean, like, I mean, Webb, he needs an F tilt, needs a dash attack at this point. He needs even, like, a back tilt. Uh, Lucas, to, uh, I feel like, definitely does not struggle to find those kills at all. Um, but Mouse Rat's positioning on that F smash was so good. Just being able to slightly outspace the tether. Yeah, and if, if not the sweet spot uh, of, or the hard hit of that forward. That definitely would have closed it. Down smash also just going to barely miss. Mouse Rat's doing so good at avoiding uh, the two frame attempts on that down smash. Mm -hmm. His his mastery of Pikachu's recovery the angles are like some of the best anyway, honestly. He's able to still convent it just about every single time, but that is going to be the up throw to take it at about 140%, I believe that was. Yeah, there is that extra 20 to 30% we were mentioning a little while ago. Just to try and find that opportunity so that way you don't have to worry so much about hunting for the kill at the ledge. And also, once again, that reverse uh, ledge trap with the PK uh, freeze. Very mm -hmm. good option every once in a while. Yeah, and very little that Pikachu could actually do to try to gimp Lucas's tether, um, except maybe try to throw out one of the one of his many jabs. What? what? Oh my god! <laughs> All right, are we are we gonna call that strategy? We're we gonna call that mashing. I think I'm gonna call that the following one. But do you you have uh, a combo breaker like that? You might as well just keep going for it. It's so quick on frames, and then that's gonna end up actually like stopping what could have been uh, Mouse Rat off stage and instead forcing <laughs> forcing Webb back off and eventually leading to the stock on the spike. What a call out on the out dodge Mouse Rat positioned himself perfectly for any recovery option that Lucas was ready to throw out. I feel like Mouse Rat is like especially adept at like catching all of these recovery mix-ups and positioning him in a way to react and, and his option coverage is also really, really good. Yeah, you see Webb looking for a possible spot dodge right there, just running up in a position where he would have thrown. But Mouse Rat just holding shield and doing really well at that. Mm -hmm. This is still a really, really close game. Uh, Mouse Rat is just holding onto the stock for dear life at this point, able to finally get a back hit, not able to link it into anything else quite yet, though. Yeah, now you have the scary position with Pikachu, too, at lower percents, where Pikachu can just throw out a bunch of these hitboxes, especially around center stage. Uh, you don't you don't really want to take all these trades, but it's okay, because you're going to find the one mistake on that quick attack down till into forward tilt is going to end up closing it. <laughs> and now, look at this. WebJP has effectively brought it all the way back. Now he has a little bit of a lead for himself. He's controlling center stage so aggressively. He got the sweet spot of his double jump cancel there, and thus he was unable to link it into himself, but he definitely had the right idea with it. Yeah, exactly. And then fading back as well with the PK fire to not only uh, possibly cover a jump, but, you know, just any other panic options that Mouse Rat might have done that down smash just barely almost killing. Just following Mouse Rat under the stage, but Mouse Rat being so comfortable with his character, not mashing attack, just playing really, really, really smart, but still able to recover from the other side. Yeah, that's something that happens to players all the time. When you get hit by something like that off stage, especially on Wi-Fi or just online, you're trying to anticipate the tech in Mouse Rat not giving up the air dodge. Gonna stay alive a little longer. Mm -hmm. Good air dodge back onto the stage, that knowing that Mouse Rat wouldn't be able to throw out a button fast enough to be able to cover it. But Webb is just struggling to continue to get back on, and that's gonna be the fully charged sweet spot F smash, catching the neutral get up. Just the consistency of how often Mouse has been able to land that. Just every single time, setting it up, throwing out those back airs at the ledge to try and get them to stay grounded so they don't jump, and then throw out that forward smash right into position where you know they're probably going to buffer either that roll or neutral getup. So Mouse Rat doing a, a great job once again from ta taking what definitely was a much more even game that time, but somehow sealing the deal and going up two games on web. Yeah. This is a really, really close game, and it's surprising to see that, like, this is Mouse Rat coming from losers. He has all the momentum in the world right now. He is taking these games so confidently, I feel like. Um, like, able to prove that even though he didn't get those early percent stocks like he did in game one, he is still able to take a game, and not just take a game, he's able to do so with confidence and swagger. <laughs> just <friend. laughs> Angry Bars is great on, on the Frustrated mic. Frustrated Bars is fantastic, yeah. It, it is great. He'd be constantly yeah, interrupting sound. himself every time, and he'd just be like, bro, 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 bro. bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle this, bro. His brain just shuts down from the bullshit. He's yeah. watching you transpire in front of him. <laughs> you know what? I don't blame you, but you know what? It's all good, because we got another great match possibly coming up for you. We currently have Miles Rat up 2-0 on Webb, who was sitting pretty in Grand Finals not too long ago. Uh, on winner's side, it might be joining Mouse Rat on the loser side of things if it continues to go the way that's been going. Yeah.
Um, I think they'll be opting back for the battlefield. Honestly, I feel like it's been favoring both of them really good. Never mind. Just threw out everything I said. <laughs> this, is like, this, this happened to us in the last one too when we were watching of versus mouse rat we ended up seeing kalos uh and surprising at that but here's the thing uh, with mouse rat mouse rat has been able to reverse edge guards left and right from throwing out those thunder jolts on the side of the stage and i think that's a big part of not only why mouse rat decided to take the stage but also maybe a little bit easier to catch the recovery from the tether because now you have not only thunder jolt but you have the down air that you could uh, draw in anticipation yeah, I like the fact that he went for the down smash really, really early in, but I don't think it was really worth the damage, especially since it would have only covered one of three potential get-up options. Um, but right now, Mouse got barely holding a lead, but has all the stage position that he wants in the world. Um, wow, what a frame trap! Still having enough time to f -tilt. Yeah, get even even pushing back to center stage, you get your damage where you can. Webb looking for that quick attack into center stage, but Mouse Rat holding his ground. Mm -hmm. Mouse got unfortunately pivoting a little bit too far back for the first F smash, allowing um, Web JP to still neutral get up nice and safely. Yeah, I think that time uh, possibly trying to get into the spot where not only to just cover the neutral get up, maybe cover roll. And you see now from Mouse just throwing him out there, hoping to get a trade as it's yeah. been consistently landing. And that time on the cross up, the back throw, I think that was a little DI assisted as well. That's going to be the kill. Mm -hmm. Just because of how quick it is, it's possible Mouse got. Um, didn't have enough time to react to it because, you know, Lucas having, being one of the only characters in the game to have three separate kill throws, it is such a toss-up to, to think about, like, which way I have to DI and which way I'm facing. Oh, going for the reversal, but <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We're talking about Pikachu here. Pikachu's gonna be able to get back on stage after quick attack, but if that was pretty much any other character, that would have, or the sweet spot, that would have been a stock. Yeah, had that been the spike hitbox, that would have been more than enough to actually take Pikachu's stock, being as light as he is. Um, Mouse got, uh, he is doing such a good job of avoiding all of these down ends from WebJP, which can just confirm into themselves. They create some really devastating loops. Yeah, I was just about to point out, too, that's something we haven't really been able to see too much in the last few games because Mouse Rat has just been so he heavily on the move. But now with Kalos in uh, no platforms really to retreat to in center stage, you, we might see that option a little bit more now. I, lo I love seeing Lucas does up, up here, honestly. It's just like so visceral. He just bonks you with his head. He's like. This is Swift. <laughs> did you just smash your head on your table? I did. I did that before, actually. It's for comedic effect, okay? <laughs> oh my god. You know what? I, I, I approve of the realism uh, effort there. That, that was good. Uh, here we go. Up throw. Not, Not going to stick it is Kalos' stage is enormous. Look, oh my god. The <laughs> okay. use of the PK fires was really, really brilliant. You know, that move already gives you like so much drift on its own and re reversing it as well. You just fly all over the place. Mouse got staying really patient and reactive. Played it really, really smartly. Yeah, I was about to say, I need to give uh, good credit where it's due right there. Mouse Rat, most most players would have just moved right there, going after the first initial movement and just did not uh, pull the trigger at all. Waited for it and ended up leading to the stock. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, getting the drag down there into down tilt after tilt. Really, really good conversions. Really solid. He's been landing those super consistently. Um, And now he's just patiently holding on to center stage. He's waiting for Mouse Rat to push in a little bit too far back. And much like where we see Mouse Rat throw out these retreating uh, F smashes, that time Webb going for a retreating F tilt. And that's been something that's kind of been working a little bit more as the matches progress. Just get that, that quick shut down your approach, but also possibly a kill out. I really like how just early. Oh, that's going to be the up throw. More than enough. Yep. I really like early how Webb JP, as soon as he was knocked off stage by Pikachu's jab, he immediately fast fell down and away in the anticipation of Mouse Rat trying to down air him for it. So he was okay with his covering D because he knew he'd still be able to live. What another recovery, Mamma Mia. And that, that as well, just one of those perfect things that you need to know how to handle on stages like this web, able to go for not only the wall bounce, but get up past mm -hmm. Mouse Rat again. And having that platform right there, once again, showing that web has multiple options to land while also not being too uncomfortable, even with Mouse Rat staring him down. He is so comfortable with all of his angles. He has so much mass to give his own character, uh, getting a good amount of out of shield punishes on Pikachu's dash attack. Um, but right now, Mouse Rat needs to take talk. Right now. Florida is not going to be a quite yet. Yeah, you're starting to reach that point. In oh. 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 Look at Lucas. Just so excited. It's like, all right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <I'll take> <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, Mouse Rat is going to go ahead and drop the ball on that one. Unfortunately, going to end up SDing at the last stock. But for Webb, not unfortunate at all. You now get a 2 1 versus a 3 0 reset. Face is like, yeah, I did it. Woo! Did it. 
so smug. <laughs> Can you imagine Lucas popping off? I'm not, like not even Web J. Lucas is Lucas. definitely that player to like uh, get it. Let's see who, who somebody could think of. Oh yeah, actually Venya's in the chat. Get a get an upset on Venya after Venya XD six stocks in two games. We'll pop off and say yeah. Let's I go. Earned that. Let's I earned go. it. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> Oh my god. I accidentally unplugged my headphones. God damn it. So. I am interested to see where we go next because we ended up seeing Kalos uh, being left open. And uh, it ended up working out for Webb in the end. Even though the SD happened, Webb was still doing a good job, especially those last two stocks, of starting to sh shut down uh, mm -hmm. a lot of quick attacks. Pretty much just making them not worth using, which is crazy to say when, uh, when you see a Pikachu on screen. Mm -hmm. The uh, flat so. slides have helped him so much in his recovery, mixing it up, allowing him to not only just slide up along it, helping him snap onto the ledge, but also bonking it, getting some extended uh, recoveries. But they're going to be running it back to Battlefield for Game 4. Devin, you're lucky that that message that my boss sent me was to have the schedule switch up and now I have tomorrow off because now I actually get to sit here and watch what could potentially be a reset. <laughs> so let's see what, uh, let's see though. We're back to Battlefield, like you just said, is not going to go up. Um, I think, you know, that first game, obviously things were not looking too hot for Web just from the, the get-go. And then the game was extremely even after that. I I'm interested to see how Mouse Rat adjusts to what is the newfound uh, not so much offense, but just the excellent defense on web. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like both of these players, compared to the other games, they've been playing so much more aggressive right now. Just, I like, see them both, I mean, I want to see that both of them are holding forward. Um, but right now, Mouse got over committing to the forward, giving um, WebJP an opening to go back onto stage. Web somehow getting by the, that attempted grab on that air dodge. Decent amount of aerial drift right there. Mm -hmm. Uh, almost getting the tech chase, not able to find it. He tries to armor through a potential. I think he may, might have anticipated like a dash attack and tries to armor mm -hmm. through it with the Azal up smash, but that's only like a prediction. I can't. Yeah, remember. yeah, just one of those hard reads right there. But, yeah, even when you go for that, maybe cover a quick jump. Well, when it's Pikachu, you already know Ooh. that there's gonna be a hitbox involved, kind of like that hitbox right there. The forward air is gonna call out that jump, and Webb's gonna take the lead. Yeah. Um, what I really like also is the way that Webb is using his double jump cancel Zell. He is hitting it, and every now and then he's just waiting. He's waiting to see the defensive mash. He's waiting to see the defensive play. And he got that lead. He was able to dash attack Mouse that, and only then was he able to take the stock. Exactly. It's all about obtaining that data as you don't need to go for the same thing every single time. If you can figure out how somebody wants to move, that's going to be so beneficial for you. And you even saw a second ago, not necessarily the same thing, but Webb was able to read that air dodge in, get some damage, and now. Uh, for almost getting close to uh, even even percent on the second stock. Mm -hmm. Look at him stalling really, really well, making sure he's not going to be getting gimped, and goes for the beefy up B to smack Pikachu in his face as he's yeah. going for it. Not something you want to do all the time, but definitely a case, uh, you want to hold down, go through, but that time, Mouse Rat in position to punish the dash attack, and now Mouse Rat getting it down to one, the two stocks piece. Mm -hmm. You see him now, he's starting to play back a little bit more, and Mouse Rat, he is waiting for the perfect opportunity to go in with his quick attack every single time that um, WebJP is over committing to the PK fuzz. Oh, he that has was a almost... good sense of the timing. Yeah, it was almost a good idea right there, too. You have somebody buried in the corner. Again, another situation where you might anticipate a grab. So you throw out that down to smash, try and cover the spot dodge. Mm -hmm. Almost taking the stock there, using the PK Thunder to try to force a low recovery. Interesting escape option, actually. I actually really kind of like, like that, that because when you put yourself that far over on the top platform, the most you're taking there is that up there. So, <laughs> it, it, like, it, that was actually really good damage. Uh, like, it just controlling how much damage you might take on web. Right yeah, there's there. no way Pikachu could possibly try to convert that into anything else. Everything else would just be too slow and not true at that point. Um, but web, I want to say he needs to take the stock right now. This, this is the time, buddy. Yeah, I think a big thing that we're we're seeing that's a, a difference by compared to before is in the last few matches, Mouse Rat has been able to consistently win not only off stage but just at the ledge. And it seems How like he got the sally spot of F tilt there. He was spaced a little bit too close, I believe. Yeah, I think it was just barely. And uh, oh, here we go. The cross up actually trying to get uh, Mouse Rat to maybe jump out of shield, and it's exactly what he got. The off tilt's gonna take it. Look at, look at Webb's platform movement. He's just waiting out, like, Pikachu's, like, um, you know, invulnerability from the Angel Plats. Mm -hmm. I like just how Webb... 
I like how Webb is like not really over committing to in some of those spots where a lot of players you would have saw run off stage right away to try and maybe go for a drop down back air because, oh, I'm up a stock, maybe I could go for the spike. No, Webb just decides to go for stage positioning instead. And look how oh much of a difference goodness. this match has completely changed. How in the this. last 30 seconds he has dealt so much percent. He started to run away with this mouse cut. I feel like he's been playing so aggressively and Webb has been holding back. He's been holding back using his projectile, stalling really, really well. Oh, that was almost the right position for that forward air, but it's a little bit too late. Mouse Rat, you see Mouse Rat just looking for these dash attacks over and over again, just kind of holding the ground, waiting for the opening. But now you're at this high percent. If you overcommit near the ledge, you'll, it, it, you see Web's already kind of retreating over there. You he might run into a back throw. Shielding. He can't get too comfortable being grounded because just about anything Lucas could do at this percent can and will kill. Look at that. There we go, down tilt into the throw. That's going to end up taking it, putting us at two games apiece uh, in this. Now, I, Webb was up in that third game. Mouse Rat did end up losing that game to the SD. So that, that might have been the last straw. Webb has been playing so well. well let's see if Mouse Rat could somehow get this reset after what was such a good first two games. Yeah, this is, this is incredibly clutch. I think it'll be... Honestly, I feel like Webb just gets stronger and stronger as the set goes on. I feel like he is like the kind of player that starts to get the ball rolling really slowly, but once he does, he's really, really unstoppable. But Mouse got, like, once again, I still think he has phenomenal momentum. Mm -hmm. I think he started to get a little bit antsy, maybe a little bit too aggressive. Webb started catching on to that. He started playing back more. He waited for Mouse to come in to overcommit, and he blew him up that last stock. For I'm going gonna, gonna to put the camera on. I'm officially getting my external hard so, drive. <laughs> so I, I always say on the mic or when I'm talking to people that, yeah, whenever I cast, I always want to talk, like I'm talking to friends on a couch just talking about sports. Now I get to actually watch great matches like this while reclined at home. What an interesting concept. So we're getting into game number five here. Uh, and we have what has been quite the, quite the match between these two. Webb really turning things around. Let's see if Webb could shut it down now or if Mouse Rat could somehow get it going into game number five here on Xeno Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. yep, they are going to be going right back to Battlefield. And right off the bat, you see the way that Mouse Rat is opening this up. L look at the stark contrast in play. Like, like, uh, Mouse Guard is playing so patiently, he knows that WebJP is going to go for these PK fires. So just, just exactly. I think it's at that point where you have to be, just understand, like, overcommitment is not the, not the right thing unless you find that one opportunity. Both of them just going super aggressive, and it's going to end up working out oh for Mouse Rat instead. All Mouse Rat is able to reverse what was a very, very bad situation into a positive one and getting that stock. This is what it's like fighting Mouse Rat. Every time I'm off stage against him, every time I've played him, I fear for my life. He is so, so good at connecting his down airs. He is not afraid to commit. He is so comfortable with his recovery. He does a brilliant job, and WebJP is doing everything in his power to try to ease this deficit and come back and ease the bleeding. Yeah, exactly. And this is exactly what I was pointing out in the last match. One of the things that we haven't seen as much out of Mouse Rat prior to this match was just not being able to win off stage because the situations just weren't there. Now Webb forced to just, just play uh, on the back foot for an entire two stocks just to get this even. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Mouse Rat is, it's his change in tempo is so menacing. He moves, 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 goes up down the jolts and all of a sudden he stops and Webb doesn't know how to deal with it fully. And as a result, once he presses the button, Mouscut is able to reset himself onto center stage. Yeah, very well said. You know, just fighting games in general are just turn-based RPGs. And when you're playing against something like this right here, Ooh. occasionally you get caught but that really busted projectile bosses like the draw. He's that that <laughs> side B is going to go ahead and take out that stock. Mm -hmm. so Webb is doing a good job of coming back from this. Move. He's still down 60%. This is still within the realm of possibility for him, I want to say. Oh, absolutely. We have, we've already seen how quick Webb can put on damage, but Mouse Rat is going to make sure that until that actually happens, that he's just continuing to run with this lead. That up smash not going to kill, but it is going to also continue to put damage on this down smash will, though. Oh, no, excuse me. Call me a liar. And going for a skull bash, trying to get the early attempt. That actually was, that was almost right on point. Look at this. Now he has stage control. He's holding center stage. He's keeping Mouse Rat trapped in the corner. I love that commitment to forward air instead of going for another PK fire because Mouse Rat has gotten so accustomed to rushing in after WebJP goes for the PK fire that now WebJP has started covering his landing with another forward air. 
Hey, that was a decent top of my car right there. Just get a little bit of the damage on, but uh, like you said, just covering those obstacles with that forward air. Now we might be seeing a bit more of what Webb was able to do successful. That was a very aggressive, very ballsy, and it worked out play. Going for the, the off stage back air and then air dodge in. You're putting yourself at a lot of risk, and it worked out. Oh, but that's going to be his double jump. Missing it. What a good catch with his four Ludo. Mouse Cut's basing is impeccable. There we go. That's something we saw on a mouse trap before. All you have to do is just find that one angle. One of the worst weaknesses that you have as the PK th the kids is getting hit by angle projectiles like that. And now, Mouse Trap still, but it's basically the same position as the first stock. It's uh, around 60 ish percent up an entire stock in a very weird spot for Webb. There you go. Getting the PK freeze. Definitely way to start the PK fire. Almost hit. His basing was off by pixels. Oh, that's such a hard break through. And that time he lands it. This time he's adjusted. He's positioned himself just a couple of extra pixels for it to be able to connect it. And look at it. He's brought it all the way back and even taken it, taken a lead. Yeah, here we go. That's just huge for Webb. If Webb could somehow just recreate that magic, that shield is so low right now. You ha you can't really play at the, just too close to Webb right now because you know he'll look for that down air out of the shield. I feel like Mousecut is starting to get a little bit afraid to use Thunder Jolt because he doesn't want WebJP to lose this lead, to, to gain this lead rather uh, by, by absorbing some of it. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and that'll just start making you feel a little bit less comfortable in your approach options. Mm -hmm. We're pretty much going for a majority of back out of shield, but now you see that Web's starting to catch on to the short hop approaches. Finally, going for exactly what, what? we were just saying, going for the Thunder Jolt, and somehow the, the Thunder's wow. actually going to shut that down. Is it, frame one? Oh my god, that almost covered the air dash. Wouldn't have killed, but that would have been huge damage. Yeah, absolutely. Right now, both players just want to get a hit. It's like whoever takes this, they're playing this hit by hit. Whoever gets this next hit. Oh, no. just barely missing that Forest Master as well. Webb now looking at what is a very good spot. 103. Now you have the ability to maybe go for some fearful kill options. Uh, but unfortunately, his nail actually crossed up Mouse Rat, or rather Mouse Rat crossed him up. Um, as a result, he wasn't able to connect the down tilt, hanging on ledge, knowing that Mouse Rat slightly misspaced himself to the point that he wouldn't be able to get under the ledge. So much confidence to do that. Oh, it ended up getting the jump, but still going to make it back. Uh, but... <laughs> oh my god! And the fourth smash is not going to kill just yet either. Web is still going to stay alive just a little longer. He had the right idea, but he initiated up here just a little bit too early, and he fell a little bit too far down. This is a nail biter. And now you see, here's that spot where both players on the last stock possibly could be the tournament over or reset happening. You cannot afford to make a mistake, so nobody trying to overcommit. Yeah. Well, Ma Mouse got almost up being right into that PK freeze, which would have definitely been the lead of a lifetime. That's it. That's going to be the up throw. There we go. Once you commit like that, you get, you try to find that opening. Maybe Web jumps there. Maybe Web decides to uh, roll back and that dash attack seals the deal, but it does not. And instead, Web's going to end up taking it 3 2, reversing uh, uh, from being down two games and get a closed out Xeno Wi Fi. Still going to win from Winner's side. Oh my God. Web is an actual Wi-Fi guy. Like, there you go. At that position right there, you're hoping that you catch the 